Arizona is ahead of the curve. So Arizona has been a vote by mail state for a long time. Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs says counties have experience in conducting all mail voting during jurisdictional elections, but they have never had the authority to do this for state and federal elections. We're in a good position uh, to be able to um, to move to this system. However, there are restrictions to an all mail election. Even if we go to all vote by mail, um, there's accessibility issues, there are language accommodation issues, and in-person voting um, is really important to keep in place for those types of circumstances. Secretary Hobbs knows that an all-mail election will most likely not be authorized by the legislature. Instead, her team is trying to get the word out to allow people to voluntarily sign up to receive a mailed ballot. Sending an application to every voter who's not already on that permanent early voter list to get on that permanently permanent early voter list, again, as a way to keep the election safe and accessible for everyone. Voting centers will now be accessible for this election. Kevin Rumbeck, CEO of Rumbeck Election Services, says the early voting centers will help reduce the amount of crowds at the polls. The likelihood is the lines are going to be much less um, and you can you can actually wait it out. You can go to there and say, well, the lines are too long. I'll come back later. There are concerns, though, of the staff that work at the polling centers. Most poll workers are in that 65 and above category, which we know is higher risk for COVID-19. And so we want to um, make sure that we are um, ha we have backup poll workers. To meet this shortage of workers, state officials are going to have to rely on the younger generation to pick up the slack. If we don't have an influx of young people who are willing to risk it, then there's going to be a shortage of people come election day. To ensure everyone is safe, Secretary Hobbs is hoping many decide to vote by mail. Even if you don't want to stay on it permanently, get on it for this year's election so we can conduct safe uh, and accessible elections for everyone.